All right, everyone. I have Jenna here, and Jenna is a degree hacker now. She's she's gone through my degree hacking training program, mm -hmm. and we've been talking back and forth through email, and she's absolutely crushing it. So that's why I wanted to ask, ask her some questions, ask her how it's going, because she's doing great, and I want you guys to see how well she's doing. So Jenna, I guess... I guess I just want to ask you, like, what's, tell me a little bit about your backstory. Like you're, you're crushing it now, but what, what took you, like, where was your point A and what brought you to this point? Okay. So, um, I've always been the type who have, has wanted to get a degree, honestly, as quick as I could, but I didn't think it would be possible. And, um, my dad met with Ryan and Ryan told my dad that he had this whole degree hacking program and um, it sounded really too good to be true at first. So I was very skeptical and um, I was like, okay, let me just, let me talk with Ryan and see his thoughts about, cause I'm going for education. So if it would be able to work for me because that degree is a little different compared to other, some other basic business degrees or something. And um, I talked to Ryan and he said, the program will be great. It'll give you a lot of tips and tricks and advice to just, how you can go through school as quick as possible. And he said the the program promised that I would most likely have my degree within six to nine months. So that for me was amazing. I'm a full-time worker. So traditional college was just not the way to do it for me. And I wanted to, I wanted to go for it. I wanted to try something different. I was very skeptical, like I said at first, but I watched all of his videos and they definitely prepared you for getting a degree as quick as possible. So I went through the whole program and of course, when I, b before I took my first class, I was like, I don't know if I'm really going to be able to do this. It just, it really sounds too good to be true, but I just applied all of the, all of the hacks that he told me and I, I am crushing it. So I've definitely, I've completed so many courses so quickly. So it's amazing. Awesome. I'm super, super happy for you. Obviously I knew that it was going to work because when you were asking me questions, I could mm -hmm. tell that you were willing to work hard. And yes, and you definitely have to takes. work hard. It doesn't, it's not easy, but you definitely have to be disciplined. But if you have that end goal that you can get a degree as quickly as possible without having to really, I have really haven't interacted with any professors. It's all been myself. I, I do what I need to do to pass the class and then I move on. So it's, it's so good for anyone who's trying to get a degree very quickly. Awesome. For people, a lot of people say like, well, we'll work hard. What does that mean? And in my mind, when it was a huge surprise to me, but when I started doing all this and started figuring all this out, mm -hmm. I, I thought back to high school and I thought, man, this is really, it's really not harder than high school. Yeah. So when, when you say like work hard, can you give some perspective on that really you just have to be willing to there's going to be other things that you're going to want to do at times and you just have to say like for me it was like i'm going to be dedicated to 15 to 20 hours per week no matter what that looks like and even you were saying sometimes you you never worked on the weekends like sometimes for me if i have a little bit of free time i do i knock out like five hours on the weekend or something if i have nothing else to do but you really don't even need to if you devoted like even four hours a day, three or four hours a day, then you can get it done. And when I first started, I was working full time. I was working nine to five. So I would come home right after work and I would just devote the, from five to nine doing schoolwork. And it's really, you just, you get the hang of it. Once you take your first class and you understand what you need to do to pass it, then, then everything else is quickly. Each class is either you have to do one thing or another to pass the class. So then you get the hang of it. And then you're like, okay, this is awesome. I'm passing like five classes within a month. So. I love it. So 15 to 20 hours a week, that was pretty normal for me too. Yeah. What I tell people is, okay, listen, normal traditional college Mm -hmm. you're in a classroom for 20 hours a week and then oh, you're yeah. studying for another 40 hours a week. Exactly. So, so yeah, you're on track to graduate in under a year, but you're also like the amount of hours you're putting into it is still like 
it's less than, yeah, I wanted to say this too. I started off at a community college and that was part of the reason I meant to mention that, that I was like, there has to be a better way to do this because I was working full time. And then I would come home exhausted, go straight to work. I mean, go straight to school. And that would be four hours of time driving there and everything. So, and then I would have to come home and do homework. So it's really, especially with every, like the time that we're living in right now, it's the best way to get a degree. Everything's already pretty much online anyway. So. Hey, there's no excuse for, cause I've heard like, well, there's no, I don't get all the social interaction and the social aspect and yeah. meeting new friends. That's, it's so that's worth a it non-issue to anymore because <laughs> now in a classroom, you're social distancing anyway, you're wearing masks anyway. Yeah. There's, there's really no excuse in my opinion, but yeah, let me ask you this. You, I, like I mentioned, you're on track to graduate in under a year, which is exactly what I expected for you. Mm-hmm. How many classes per month are you are you completing? Um, my goal was originally four per month, but I think I've done about some months. If like with Christmas and everything, obviously it was a little different during holidays. It's obviously harder if I'm on vacation, but I was I would say I, I completed at least three classes a month and was starting that fourth class. So th- Which is incredible. It was yeah. a regular traditional college. You can usually take six classes within six months and that's it. So yep. A traditional school is going to say three, they're going to recommend, okay, start out with three to four classes per semester. Yeah. Per semester. And you can only take two to three semesters per year. Yeah. The average graduation over a six year period or over for a bachelor's degree is Mm -hmm. six and a half years. It's just, it's it's ridiculous. ridiculous. (laughs) ridiculous. I'm I'm really happy for you, I guess. Thank you. Class of 2021, right? It's really awesome. Yeah. I was originally supposed to graduate in 2023, I believe. So awesome. Look at that. Super happy (laughs) for you. So you mentioned that you're going into education. What, like, what are you wanting to do with this degree? I want to be a teacher, elementary, an elementary teacher. I don't know what grade, but yeah, that's what I'm going for. Awesome. Um, Tell me, what would you say to somebody who's like, ah, degree hacking? Like, I I just don't know about this because you were there. Mm -hmm. You were feeling super skeptical. Yeah. So if you're looking straight at someone who is just super skeptical, what would you tell them? Um, my advice would be just go for it. It really sounds too good to be true. But first of all, Ryan's program will definitely prepare you for doing it as fast as possible. He has the best tips and tricks and um, just go for it. It can be done. It is possible. It seems like, oh, I can never do this. This seems really hard. This doesn't seem right. But it can definitely be done. If you're honestly as cliche as it sounds, if you're willing and you're dedicated, you can do it and you can probably knock it out like so fast within six months like it can definitely be done awesome there are lots of stories of i mean every story i've heard of someone graduating at a really young age or really fast Mm -hmm. they're always these prodigy brainiac kids Mm -hmm. and they're like oh i got a degree by 14 years old or whatever so i want to ask you in your opinion you do you have to be a brainiac no, do this. no, it's very honestly what it comes down to is how hard uh, if you're just willing to be dedicated to it, not even how hard you're willing to work. Like if if you sat through high school, I wasn't some genius in high school either. Any any average person who just wants to have a degree, it can be done like it, it can it can be done. Do you still have a life and st- do you still spend time with Yes, I stuff? still hang out on the weekends. I still watch movies with my family during the week. Like it's not this, I was probably doing more work, like I said, at a community college and with working and everything than what I'm doing now. So you definitely still have a life and you can manage it. I'm working full time. So I am definitely a testimony that it can be done. Awesome. I'm so happy for you. Here's a question. Are you, are you already looking at future jobs and getting ready to submit resumes and stuff? Um, Not yet, just because for mine, since I'm going for education, I have to do um, the, what's it called? Where you go in, you go in and do teaching. I can't think of the specific name, but you have to do that. So I I haven't, I haven't really looked at anything yet. I already have a resume written out, but um, I haven't started looking for jobs, which now is the time where I need to do that because 
it's it's coming my degree yep. is going to be here before i know it so that's what i try to tell as as many students as i can is listen like you're rolling right now yeah you're going to graduate like it's going to it's going to be like the snap of a finger yeah so start yeah start looking at where you're going to apply mm -hmm. so that as soon as as soon as you graduate yeah you, you're not starting to look for a job then yeah, it exactly. happens really fast. Oh, yeah. I've definitely thought about it. And I've been thinking I'm going so fast that it's like, I really need to think about where, where am I going to go with this? Am I going to start in like a preschool and stuff like that? So it's obviously been on my mind, but sat like I haven't sat down and thought, okay, where am I actually going to go? But it's, it's happening quick. So awesome. And like you said earlier, your dad met me, we met at a business seminar and mm -hmm. he found out what I do and start asking yeah. questions. And that's how, mm -hmm. that's how you found out about me. Yeah. Um, if you were to give, so the program that Jenna has enrolled in is called degree hacking blueprint. And it's basically step-by-step mm -hmm. -step training videos, every little thing you need to know to earn your degree in under a year, six mm -hmm. to 12 months. Uh, if you could get it, give it a one to five star rating, what would you rate it? Uh, hands down a five. I'm not even just saying that it was so worth every penny. Like I think about things that I would spend money on and the price that I pay for this, it's, it's so worth it. It's definitely a five. Awesome. Jenna, I'm so happy for you. I am just you. so excited for you to have that diploma. Um, me too. <laughs> please, when, when you get that diploma, you better send me a picture of you holding it with that big smile on your face. I will. <laughs> I yeah. definitely will. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, Jenna, so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It. And uh, yeah, we'll keep me posted. We'll talk soon. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Sounds good.